What's up guys, I'm here in Corn Island. You told me to come here, so I'm here. I'm actually staying at the Arena Hotel, and this is a bar they have right in front of the hotel. I asked some of the locals what was the best place to stay here, and then another one was Pineapple something area, but I, I stayed here because they have these bars over there in the ocean you can uh, drink from. Um, but this guy right here, very knowledgeable dude, has given me so much information about uh, you know coming out here. They got um, dance hall parties at night on the weekends. You can go check out. And uh, he he told me about this drink right here because he's been so cool. I got a drink from him. Cuba, uh, it's not Cuba, but Nica. Nica Nica Libre. So what we got here, boss? So we got Nicaragua and dark rum, seven years. For sure, this is the best in Nicaragua. I don't know. Right. And then this go with. Straight on the rack with ice, Coca Cola, and lime. Okay. Coming to your right, yeah. Nah, I appreciate it, appreciate it. Yeah, so I see a group of people over there just handling it out and um, you know families there you can see people eating But I heard there's single women here. So that's what we on the hunt hunt for single women. All right yeah, man. <laughs> Why they call it corn island, you know, you know the origins of the uh, of the name Well, it is a lot of information about corn island Right some people say it's named corn island because the guy from Spain who freed us from liberty from being slave, he was his name was Cornelio. So they give him the first three letters from his name is Corn. Ah. So it's La Isla de Cornelio in Spanish we call it. Oh. So it's Corn oh. Islands. Got it. Oh, all right, all right. From the the Liberator. Okay. All right. Cool. Check it out, guys. Nice, nice. You know, I was uh, trying to calm down on drinking, but it's a bad time. <laughs> you can't be on an island. Uh, yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, you can't be on an island. Uh, good music. Look how beautiful this beach is behind me. If you can see, like, the sand is really just a bright tan um, color, man. The waves are perfect. They're not crazy. And peaceful out here. Peaceful out here. So. I got, you know, you gotta indulge sometimes, man. So, shout out to my subscribers. This one's for you, yo. All right, guys, so uh, I know I wanna show you where we, I'm staying, but before I do that, I know I just checked in, but we head into the bar. We're gonna go to a bar that's like right over there. Seems like a cool place. What's it called, the, the setup? The floating bar. The floating bar. They have two of them. This one right here, you pay 10 bucks, and um, the 10 bucks goes to whatever you drink, excuse me. And then here, um, you pay 100 Cordoba, and they bring you. They bring you back to, or you got a round trip? 100 uh, Cordoba right there. So. There you go. So, let's see. Okay, she's the. She's the. All right. Nice. All right. Thank you, boss. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. All right. All right. All right. Bless. I see you later. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm heading over here. We had to get, we got to get this guy attention. He, he, he's in, uh, you know, so occupied. But uh, my beautiful sister got us over here. Appreciate it, baby. Okay, thank you. All right. Oh, she coming to check. She coming right now to check you. <laughs> All right. Alright guys, let's see what's going on here. This reminds me of something I saw in Turks and Caicos. So the smaller round, I like it, I like it. It's a little bit more intimate. We'll see what's going on. So th today's a Sunday guys, and so this is what the energy looks like right here. Somebody got their yacht they pull up with. And um, yeah, just people hanging out, drinking. Look like it's a lot of locals in there. Just joining the day. Got power there. Got a looks like a sun panel over there. Wow. <laughs> Hit this like button, man. I be bringing y'all some crazy places. But shout out to the people who recommend this stuff, man. I didn't even know this. Uh, so this is called like the floating bar right here. And there's another one over there. Uh, there we go. I know what man here. Are we not going there? 
Uh, all right. Let me pick, take care of this guy. So guys, the actually a hundred goes for a beer here. They come with a drink, right? I don't know. No, Friday, Monday, Friday, it comes to your mother. All right, let me, what you, what you got? What you got for cocktail? Okay, we have um, seven years, five years. Now. For cocktail, cocktail. We don't have no cocktail right now. We have a problem with the energy. So you didn't do beer right now? I beer right now, I drink. Let me get rum. Yeah. So rum and, you have rum and like juice or something? Soda? All right, guys, I got my drink. It was uh, 160 quarter bar. It looks like it's chill day, man. All right. Take it out of the water. Literally, you can see the floor from here. You can probably swim from here to the coast right now. Super dope. Hey yo, what's up, Chris? What's up? Now tell us about the next one. Who got y'all? What's up, man? What's up, guys? This is one of the resorts they have here. Um, this one, and there's another one I think called Picnic over there. And pretty much a lot of people like to stay here because it's one of the more modernized rooms. Um, you can get this with a package for uh, breakfast. Let me show you the, uh, the other spots right here. So right here, they're like uh, canopies or something like that. So it's pretty cool because you're right in front of the ocean. So you get that nice ocean air coming in. So you can stay here. I don't know how, how expensive are these rooms, but I ended up getting this room. I was just trying to stay here. It looks way better in person than what I saw on the website. So just in case you're wondering, does it look, the green looks a little too tacky or outdated. So this is the lobby area right here. Umbrellas, I guess if it's raining. And uh, yeah, this is the front desk. And and nothing too much happens here, I guess. Uh, they say that the Wi-Fi in this building is strong right here. Um, not too much in the rooms. My room was able to pick it up today. Yesterday it did it, but it's picking it up today. You can opt in in getting a breakfast in the package here to stay here. And when you get your breakfast, you can eat at the bar or you can eat it over there underneath. But right in front of the beach, which is super dope. All right, now let's go to my room. Now, I hate this. I always spend a lot of time in my rooms. Most of you guys don't realize that, but I'm like handling business and stuff. Um, emailing people and actually editing. So I spent a lot of time in my room. And then, so this is how my room looks. 
This is the bathroom right here. All right. Not bad. I already used this, so the floor is kind of wet. It gave me two beds. I wanted one, but this was the only thing available when I arrived. AC works pretty good, man. So I always forget, like, when they put, like, the extra comforters and stuff, they put them in the closet. So I was freezing until I realized, like, in the middle of the night, they have comforters. And he might want to look in the closet for them. It has a safe. This is the speeds I was able to pick up my first time checking in to see. These are the speeds right here. I want to make it clear. These speeds are functional for most uh, work online. But if you're uploading, like me, large files, 4K files that sometimes are almost an hour, it can be an inconvenience. You're talking about waiting maybe a full day, 24 hours, uh, 16, 18 hours for a video to upload. That's what you got to deal with. What I've been dealing with thus far. So I'm, I, I've come accustomed to it. All right. Yeah, I worked that into the plan. All right. And this is my little balcony. I've, I think it's cool that it, if you got a room here or there, you still have, you know, just a seating area. All right. So that's that. I want to see if I can go around and explore the city. I was recommended someone who could give me a good idea. So I'm going to call them up and see what we, what we can do. If not, we'll probably do it tomorrow. All right, guys. Uh, we're here in Corn Island, Big Corn Island. I'm with the world famous George Morgan. All right, he actually runs a tour company here. Everybody knows him, and um, so I feel best. Actually, he picked me up at the airport, and it was uh, he was just pulling up, you know, just picking picking up whoever, and it happened to be the right person I needed to uh, talk to. So, what's up, George? Ah, uh, just doing great, buddy. I'm gonna show you downtown Brick Bay, Corn Island. There's a lot to see, so we hope to have some fun. Let's look around. I know it's kind of late, guys. I know it's late. Hold on, let, our let your, oh, is this our first stop right here? A local okay. bar? You said local bars, right? Yeah, it's a regular yeah. spot. So where we at right now? We're in Brick Bay, Corn Island. Right. And this is one of the famous stops. One of the famous bar, local bars. That's what you want to visit. You want to visit yeah, I just want to see bars. local spots. Well, yeah, so this what is you one guys of the stop. You right. know, just chilling, just in an afternoon, just an early night, you know, having a beer before you go home after a long day of work. It's a fishing town, so, you know, fishermen coming tired, they want to eat a beer. Right. You know, just relax and grab back the island vibe and get home and get something to eat. But you got to have a beer first. You got to have a Tonya first. Okay, come on. Let's, let's see what you're talking about. All right. Well, the famous drink here is Tonya. That's Nicaraguan's best worldwide recognition. You know, Tonya beer is really, really nice. That's what more local people drink, Islanders drink, you know. And most people that visit Corn Island rather taste Tonya too because it's really a uh, good beer, you know, nice beer. Uh, Tonya? Okay, you know, okay, see, this guy's responsible. He's, uh, he's allowed me only to drink, all right? <laughs> okay, I thought it was uh, Konya. It's Tonya. It's Tonya. Okay, there you go. I, okay, I've seen this before. All right, cool. 45 bucks. That's like exactly a dollar fifty. Okay, forty-five quarter. But all right. Yeah. So guys, next to the bar, there is like a barber shop. So let's check it out right here. All right. How long you been living on this island? Oh man, 40 plus. 40 plus, right? So how's life here? Life here is just relaxed, man. You know, I mean like everywhere else is a day-to-day -day thing. You just gotta make it happen. You know, you just gotta you just gotta go for it, you know, like embrace your opportunities and just go for it. Um life on Corn Island is chill. Corn Island, island. Right. You know, you it's an island vibe. Um, it's relaxing. There's lots of things to do, like for tourists, uh, lots, lots of activities. Um, just to mention a few of them, you have the best spots for diving. Um, you can get certified here. You could do snorkeling. You could do um, lots of water activities, fishing. You can tour around Big Corn. There's a lot of culture, a lot of history here. You know, so if you're visiting Big Corn Island, you have a few days of activities you can do. You can put through. You have a lot of nightlife, 
um, you have numerous bars and discos you can visit and you can just chill with the local people you know and just relax and, and, and have a fun talk you know get to know things when you say history like give a, give a Tell me something I, that a normal tourist probably won't know about this island. Y'all ever had any like natural disasters here, or like a hurricane, or like a big storm, or the, what? The most relevant we've had here on Bighorn Island was back in 1988, Hurricane Joan. That wrecked us really bad, man. Right. That hit us as a Cat Five. I mean, you can you could have stand in one neighborhood and see people in the other neighborhood. Just like saying hi that was just just to give you an idea everything was like flat wow yeah so uh we recovered from that one we have had um <clears throat> some more hurricanes hit but not direct on bighorn mostly on the mainland okay last year october we had a category one hit us that was hurricane julia in october um Infrastructure wise wasn't that much damage but most of the trees fell down. A lot of lot of damage to the to the ecosystem. The trees fell down. But we recovered from that. So we're up and going again. A lot of people visiting us. Um, electricity power was out for like maybe 15 days, but we get back together. You know it's a community, it's, it's a small community, so everyone just joins in and do what they have to do to get the island up and going again, you know, because everyone lives off tourism. So you know, it's a it's a joint thing to get up and going. It's interesting you mentioned that. Uh, I ha I've been to what I like to call one of your sister cup. It's like your cousin island, sister island, but it's not with Nicaragua. It's but uh, San Andreas, right? Mm -hmm. And it's an island you can drive around in forty five minutes in a golf cart. Yeah. And um, well, they had some issues when in terms of like produce. Do you guys have your own produce here? You make your own food, or it, it's everything imported as well? Um, Most of it is imported from the mainland, like vegetables and um, like construction materials and stuff. All of that is imported by boat. Um, you have some people do farming. Um, it will be like for self-consumption or local consumption. Nothing in the volume for exportation. So everything mostly to answer your question is imported. Um, Corn Island people, the main activity for income for a Corn Island family is fishing of lobster. Oh. So there's very few people that would dedicate themselves to agriculture. Wait a minute, you got all these stores we just passed and I gotta, I gotta grab it. So what's this area right here? This is like... This is like downtown Brick Bay. This is where you have all the stores, like the little markets, your little vegetable stands and right. stuff. And uh, most of them is people that come from the mainland looking for opportunity and they find it here. So they have their little fruit stands. They oh, they'll open up business here. Yeah, they open up business here. As I mentioned, Corn Island is a place for opportunities for anyone that wants to, right. you know, start a business. And once they have it up and going, they can live off it. Just okay. like how we go somewhere else and try to look for opportunity. Well, I'm, I, you know, I hate to like, you know, it's a small island, right? Mm -hmm. How, how long does it take to drive around it? Uh, maybe like uh, if they, if uh, if you do like a normal tour where you you do all the stops, it take you like an hour and a half. Like if you just like constantly drive like uh, for fifty at uh, the fifty speed limit, let's say you can take like uh, half an hour. Okay, so I'm thinking like space is a luxury here. Do you ever have like big business want to come and buy stuff here? Maybe the uh, land and uh, buy a. Um build a big hotel stuff like that like a real hotel or something well not really like actually um we might have a a, a big hotel putting up here maybe in the next year or so because we have some people purchase a, a piece of property up in the north side north end it's called the neighborhood right and that's uh, uh something that's going to be happening in the next year or so um mostly purchasing properties you have expats and you have people that visit corn island and love the corn island so they try to want to come and retire and stay here and so they'll buy a piece of property and then they try to like do some small business and they grow from that but to see like like um like brands like maybe the marriott or, or the um what else the um hilton's and stuff we don't have those kind of resorts yet on big corn okay so what i'm, what I'm thinking okay as much people you have uh, on this island it keeps growing in population uh, you got I, i'm assuming certain people just leave for a better opportunity or what we what do you think some people like try to embrace the opportunity of working in call centers because the english on the caribbean close just to mention something to you the english on corn island english is our first language um education is in spanish so is it in the in nicaragua on the mainland right english is our first language education is in spanish so everyone grows up bilingual 
right? So the English on the Caribbean coast, especially on Corn Island, is the one they need in Managua at the call centers. Okay. So they can get it, the, the accent they want over the phones. Right, right, yeah, right. So that's why young people, let's say, ranging in the age of, let's say, from 20 to like 35, they embrace that opportunity to go and work at a call center because it's a little more than the minimum wage you get paid here if you work in a hotel industry. Another thing I noticed um, when I was coming here, I met this beautiful. Um, she, matter of fact, she gave me your number, right? Mm -hmm. and she gave me her number, his number, and I didn't even know he, it was him that was picking me up. It's a small world, right? <laughs> and so, um, right. So she works for the cruises. Yeah. So is that something I was going to mention that to you too? Yes. A lot of people, um, young people, I mentioned again, right. work on cruise ships. They, we get out, um, well they go out for let's say six or eight months, depends on how many months they, they contract for, and they get like a month vacation and they come back. Um, that's how they get the opportunity to do, to build a house. Because most of the properties here are inherited from your parents right. or grandparents, so then all you do is you need to work towards building your own house. You know, so it's it, it's kind of hard at sometimes because you leave your family behind, you leave your kids behind, but you have to venture out because I mean, time doesn't wait for anyone, and you have to brace whatever opportunity you get to make some extra money. You can't, uh, you, right, right. Um, as far as buying property here, is it uh, what is the like for a house, like a house, like that house right here? We just passed it right there. Yeah. Uh, I would say for that house you just passed by there, it could be maybe like uh, 10, 12 grand. Yeah. To own the property? Uh, no, no, no. Like to build a house. Like it just oh, depends okay. on the size. The property, it all depends on, on who's selling, why, I mean, why they're selling, who is selling, and the, the location of the property. Um, we don't have any real estate companies here. So it's just like if there's a lot for sale, like someone just put their own price, you know? Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. But properties are not that cheap here because, let's say, a front property, a beachfront. Right. It costs from anywhere between eighty to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for an acre. We sell by acre. I like you know oh, that's awesome. Well, eighty I think is a fair deal. It's a fair deal, yes. For beach eventually, front property, eventually, <laughs> like you know, in, in 20, the next five years. years, yeah, that's gonna be double or or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's not gonna be the same price though. Definitely not. And 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 Corn Island is getting to be well known worldwide because, like. I do tours a lot and when I ask people like, how do you hear about Cornana? Oh, a friend of mine visited and they loved it and they told me I should come and I'm here and I'm definitely loving it and I'm going to spread the word because like I've visited numerous countries and other Caribbean island and Corn Island is just one of the places that I fell in love with and I'm going to come back and like if anyone asks me is the place to visit is the Corn Islands. Nice. That's nice. the feedback. That's a lot of feedback I get back. Cause I, like, when I do tours, I interact a lot with people. I ask them questions and stuff like that. Is there any any crime or anything here? Crime or? rate is slow. Like, like very, like, next to nothing. Like man. petty crime. Petty Maybe crime. Like nothing more than something. that. Yeah, somebody just like, I don't know, but just petty crime. But murders and stuff like that. So nothing What's relevant, like the, man. Like a pro what is the property? I mean, excuse me, population here, like approximately eight thousand five hundred people. Wow, eight thousand yeah. five. Okay, yeah. wow. That, okay, do you feel like damn? I know everybody in this island, or you know, do you feel like you get any privacy living on this island? Of course you do, man. Okay. I mean, knowing everybody, it's a good and a bad thing. Right. You know, it just depends on on what you're doing or you know what's your stand. But um, you have your own privacy. People respect your privacy. You know, you just. Do your, do your thing and just get your, your daily growing point. up as a teenager I know you I think you married or something right no I'm not married you're, I have a girlfriend but oh, I'm not okay yeah. so how does that work like you know you you were dating somebody and now you're dating someone new and they most likely know each other <laughs> or or that someone new that came from out of the or people marry within the uh, the island is it that, that's a common thing or marry outside the island every 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 person that gets an opportunity in someone's life you know what you're looking for. So, I mean, my advice is like, when you're gonna start a relationship, just be yourself. Because if you just pretend to be what you wanna be or what you want that person to see, and then two months after you're somebody else, it's not gonna work out. Right. You know, so what I experience with somebody, you know, it's not the same what that person's gonna experience with somebody else. So it's just like, you, when you find yourself comfortable, you just stay there. And if it doesn't work out, you move on, man. That's, that, that's pretty much it. And it doesn't, it doesn't, it's just not weird how it could be like, oh, we, um, I was dating you now, 
it's uh, I still see you around because it's uh, we are both in this island. I don't know. Like it's I'm driving, be. you driving yeah. past your ex girlfriend. With, 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 with my girlfriend on side. Yeah, the, that's likely um, to happen. I'm probably sure it happened. It happens. Times. It happens. But I mean, you know, it's like you just move on. You know, you just, right. you, you just damn it, you just move on, and that's pretty much it. You know, you do your, you make your life, I make my life, and that's pretty much it. You had your time, I know it's my time or whatever, and just keep on. So is there like a thing you guys do as locals? Uh, on the, uh, I remember going to Brazil, Rio, and man, the families would just hit the beach every weekend. It was like a religious thing, like going to church. Is that some? Do you guys have something like that? Growing up, growing up, growing up is always um, um, families. The mom and dad was like really strict. Most of the older folks, right? They grew up that kind of way. Try to keep all the kids in church. And uh, which is a good thing, you know. So on weekends, what people will do is like on a Sunday morning, you go to church. Everyone goes to church. Right. Then after church, then you go to a baseball game, because baseball is big in Nicaragua. I think you know that, right? Okay. You sense that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you go to a baseball game, and after that, then if you want to chill a little bit, you go to a local bar, and nothing crazy, and you chill, and you go home after that, and you get up Monday morning, you're back to work, you're back to what it is, you know, the reality. But that's like the main um, main going for the weekends. Oh, okay. Normally the weekends. Yeah, normally the weekends. On Sundays you go to church. Okay, and the, mm. but the weekdays everybody just hanging the out. Weekdays work. everybody just working. As I mentioned to you, like fishing is the main activity. So most of the guys out to see. When you're back from fishing, all you want to see is your bed. Oh, so fishing is like tired. one of the. It's it's the a huge main income. income. It's, it's the main income. So it's the main activity here for for families. Okay. You know, second is tourism. All right. What what else besides uh, fishing and um, and tourism? Yeah, that's pretty much it. I would say, and like the local local stores and stuff like that, where people just try to their their daily going, try to make a sale or something. But the main ones are is fishing and then tourism. Well, is it something like okay, we have a family of fishermen. My father was a fisherman. I'm a fisherman. Mm -hmm. Like we and they have. Was that or were you exposed to that type of lifestyle? That if my fam, if my dad was a fisherman, I need to be a fisherman. Yeah. I mean, you can like just make your own decision. Like if you see you have an income there, if you always a dad or a family um, dad, let's say wants you to get a career, like that's optional for you. If right. you want to continue like helping him, it's either helping him and studying because you know the fisherman is out to sea and, and your career is here. Right. You know, so some people would just like don't study you say and just focus on working and making money directly or someone just like try to get a career and I, do something else I was else. thinking like maybe the, the father would be like oh come on it's your time now get on the boat is I'm gonna teach yeah, you yeah well that's pretty much it yeah right. that's pretty much it you know if it happens for for dad that owns a boat and like you need someone to like help him out like just like how you say it's your time now I'm gonna show you everything you need to learn because then you need to step up and take the wheel right 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 yeah. Okay, cool, cool. And um, when it comes to like resources and stuff like that, because it is an island, you got gas. Uh, is it? Has there ever been an issue with the gas? Or I see a lot of cars here. You know what I mean? Yeah, we haven't had any issues with the fuel because it's all imported by boat. Um, they will dock up at the dock and then just pump it into the storage tanks. And they normally keep um, an extra amount. So, you know, if they're down, they have reserve. We haven't had any issue with that. Most things is, um, things are a lot more expensive because, as I mean, we live on an island and transportation-wise, it takes a lot more to get things over here. Right. Things are even a little more expensive over on Lidicorn. So, you know, it's kind of, it's expensive to like, it just for instance, like, um, Vegetables is very expensive compared to what it costs on the mainland, but then again transportation is very expensive fuel is ex fuel is expensive here It's talking like like you know, six dollars a gallon. Wow. Yeah comparing to the income, you know, it's a, it's a lot of money um, Wow, that's a lot and do you ever feel like maybe uh and I'm just trying to compare experiences because it's an island, you know, mm -hmm. and the the big government is on the mainland. Do you feel like they're in, in tune to what's going on here with you guys? 
they're in tune with what's going on. We have our local government that they try, they try really hard, like, you know, try to get everything in order and try to put out the best that they can in their reach economically. Because after the pandemic, you know, um, there was a lot less people visiting. Oh, Ireland. man, how was that, man? That was crazy, man. That was crazy. I mean, Nicaragua was the only country that didn't shut down. Because if we had shut down, I don't know how the hell we were going to survive, you know, because... No, nothing was happening and so that was crazy um just to mention just just like to mention something to you we had no flights at all no flights zero flights coming to bighorn so that means no tourists a lot of business shut down you know so and then after the um after they resumed flights back to the country there was so much restriction because of PCR tests and this and that mm. so some of the airlines weren't able to um, comply with the timing and the this and this and, and the logistics to get to get you to fly and this was so stressing so people say you know what just forget it just when when it's all easier I'm gonna try and fly you know so that's what you know keep us down a lot a lot so eventually people start coming back to to, to Corn Islands and that's what been helping us a lot so the economy is growing so the business pay their tax and the local government are able to invest that back into the community but not like the volume of what they would normally man manage as a budget in the community like let's say four or five years ago Wow Wow and so what did you guys do to survive was it just like how did you eat or I'm assuming the the, the, the fish <laughs> you know what I mean which is I think it's free then they're free if you go get it right local fishermen when they go to sea and they come back you know if you go and you just ask them, hey can I have a fish or so they don't say no man they don't you know, say we no, support right. ourselves in that kind of way um, help out each other you know you're not gonna see your neighbor go hunger you're not gonna see your friend go hunger you know right. we always stay for each other and with that 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 how we handle it man in hard times you know everybody suffers so everybody's there for everybody you know just hand the helping hand nice 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 in terms of uh, languages spoke here right mm -hmm. and the diversity because I know this is a it's huge diversity here well how many languages are spoke here well, the main language is English. Right. What we speak here is what we call Creole English. Okay. Right? Then, as I mentioned to you, education is in Spanish. So, everyone grows up bilingual. But then we have Misquito. Misquito, okay. it's a dialect mostly from the north side of Nicaragua, like in Puerto Cabezas. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, a lot of fishermen or mosquito guys that comes to Corn Island and they, they fish in lobster by the method of diving right so they practice this activity a lot so they come and um, they make some money and so then they ask their brother to come and help them out because there's opportunity for work and as I mentioned it's just like an opportunity that's for anyone that would seek opportunity so elsewhere. they made a community so they make a community and now they're part of the community so whatever information is issued out let's say for from um, from the government or from any institution they'll try to make it in three languages because you have this, the English, the Creoles, you have the, let's say, Spaniards, we call speaking people from the mainland, and we have the mosquitoes from the north side of Nicaragua. So all of us, we make one community, and we have one objective, just make the island grow and function. Brown, um, notice how well these roads are, man. There's one road, huh? Yeah, there's one road. Two, one, one main road, wrap around. What can I say any more than desire? More than just a pretty face. Yeah, you better walk away. Uh, we are in the local restaurant. That this is where local people visit on the weekends. This is this is what's happening on the weekends. This is where you find the Corn Island family on the weekends here. Like in the, in the daytime or at night? Uh, Every time, any day, any time of day you can come and find your... On the weekends, people eating food. Exactly. What's yes. the specialty people like to eat here? Uh, everything. You got, well, you got something you call frito. It's like a fried pork or a chicken or beef. And it's like a cabbage salad with some tostones, like just fried um, um, plantains. Nice, and nice. It's like a picada, like a mixture of meat. Something, something like that. You know, it's, it's individual. Like, it's either chicken, beef, or pork. Okay. But it's like, it's combined like that and it's, it's, the, it's good, man. So that or, or seafood. All right, let me see what, what we can get here. Chicken, we have beef and we have pork. 
Which one you get? Which one do you guys normally sell the most? Chicken. Chicken. All right, let me get the chicken. <laughs> All right. I can feel the ocean breeze. Yeah. It's nice. And you smell that? Yes. Smell the kitchen? Yeah. yeah. Something's cooking. Ah. And then you have here, um, they have, it's like a balcony. And then off the balcony, you have some, you have like a natural aquarium where you have some sharks. So you can see the sharks in the day, you can come and you can purchase your, your, um, your, your, um, how you say, bait or your, your feed, like sardines, and you can throw the sardines to them. Right the sharks here. right here. Right here, just like right here. Oh. Lemon fish. Right Lemon fish. Get out of here, so what? Yeah, it's dark right now, so you won't be able to see them, but like, you can come in the day and you'll be able to see them. Okay, I see fish. Oh, yeah, there's a shark there. This is a natural bay? Wow. So the sharks wait for you guys to give them something to eat. <laughs> they be waiting for you. <laughs> Say, oh, oh look there, look there. <laughs> oh, he's flipping around. Can you say he want food? <laughs> That's it. See it right there? Yeah. No, no. Look, turn around, turn around. Wow. Flips around. Yeah. What is that? A nurse shark? A nurse shark. Oh. You ever seen anything other than this shark type of shark come here? Or? No, it's a natural aquarium, so they have they put them in here. Oh, they put them in there. Yeah, oh. but then they change them. They don't have the same ones. They take them out and put new ones and take them out. Oh, okay. Or oh, they okay. If they catch them. They might. They catch them, them in the in the, in the fishing traps that they normally set to catch fish. Then they'll find them in there. Just bring them for like entertainment. Ah, oh, that's a nice way of doing it. Yeah. They don't keep them in here too much to get them stressed. So they just like every week or so they release them. Oh, okay. And it seems like a lot of the fish are just hanging out right here. Wow. So you could just throw sardine in there. You got any sardine? You got sardine for me? Or it's too late to feed them? Oh, the water's too low. Yeah, they just hanging out right there. Seems like there's something. They maybe they sleep? That's how they sleep? They is not trying to hear anything. Wow. Nice. Nice. So, you guys, how you change them every week or every two weeks? How long you? Uh... Yeah, every week they change them. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You wanna bring in? That's nice. That's nice. All right. What else do people like to eat here? Huh? What else do people like to eat here? <laughs> the mixed plate. Huh? Mixed, mixed plate. Yeah. What is that? Start with um, chicken, beef, pork, lobster. Oh, chips. that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. What about you? What you like to eat? I like shrimps. Shrimp? Very shrimps. Okay. Are you, are, you, are you from this island? Yeah. Okay. So, growing up, what was your, the, the favorite thing your, you like your, your parents would cook for you that you love? Uh, it's shrimp. Shrimp? Some <laughs> <laughs> rice and beans. <laughs> Uh, rice and fish. What type of rice? Uh, gallo pinto? Yeah, gallo pinto. Exactly. Rice and peas. Wow, okay. Yeah. And they, they offer that here, right? No, we don't serve it here. Oh, Just oh. And rice. Okay, but you know how to cook it already. Right? Yeah. So, like, how, how do you prepare the, the shrimp? Bread it with fry. You bread it up? Nice, okay. But cool. here we do it like four ways. We do it in garlic, we do it in tomato sauce, mm. bread it, and in um, jalapeno sauce. Mm, that, I like jalapeno, the spice. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Do you speak Spanish? A little. A little. Yeah. Okay, so not everybody speaks uh, Spanish. Yeah. I was assuming everybody spoke Spanish. Okay, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. All right. Okay. He says this is a popular place to um, come visit. Uh, how often do people come here? Every day. Every day? Every day. When is your busiest day? 
We don't have at visit the everyday people. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow. So we at the famous restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. The well, shark name is very famous. Oh, people coming for the. You yeah. don't have any sardine? Oh no, you said no, it's too the water sardine. too low. Yeah. Okay. So uh, normally you wait for the tide to come in. Come up here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, so what's what is a good time to show up to see the show? Like in the morning time. Morning time? Yeah, we open at 11 till midnight. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Okay, yeah. I appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it. I'll take me um, some water. I'm not drinking no, uh, no beer. Okay. Yeah. I drank too much um, alcohol yesterday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is this this party chain? Yeah. <laughs> what he's drinking? Huh? They're from New Orleans, from Bacchus. Oh, from, from the uh, New Orleans. Yeah, the oh, from uh, okay. Thank you. What? Bacchus. Bacchus or uh, what's that? It's Bacchus. Like, Bacchanal. No, Bacchus. It's from a Greek god for Bacchanal. Oh, oh, for the drunk. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Norland, they have Mardi Gras over there. It's like the Mardi Gras. Wow. Yeah, that's from that parade from this year. Wow. <laughs> so here it is, guys. The frita I just ordered, which is chicken. So they put some um, coleslaw on top of it, some shredded um, lettuce and everything. But this is chicken. And um, they mixed it with some banana. Not too bad. Let's try this out. Yeah, what we bring with that when we bring that. Nina can't tell me that question because I have to rectify my bag. I want to visit tomorrow. I'm curious. Yeah, because some people. Yeah, nice. Thank you. Have the price. All right, so you mentioned to me you do tours, right? Yeah, that's correct. So, what type of tours do you do here? <clears throat> well, um, first of all, you can find me on Facebook, right? That's right. VIP Tours and Transfer Corn Island. VIP Tours. You see VIP, you don't know what it means, right? Top of the line, service, exclusive, and we can provide you with whatever custom service you want, right? We make your vacation as comfortable as possible. So if you got like a family coming in, you're <coughs> five. We can set it up for you. All okay? right. Okay. So some of the tours that I do is the land tours like the city tour, you can call it, or the island tour, right? Right. I recommend to do this one because that way we we um, we run the whole island, we go around the whole island and you see what's there. We go to um, the island bakery, we go to the lobster and the stingray bus stops, we go to, ta I take you where you can have local sweets, um, like genuine, genuine, like, you know, sweets that are made like original from Corn Island. And we just basically explore the island. So if you have a few days here, you know exactly what's there and you know exactly where you want to go next. Exactly, nice, you know? Nice, so nice. you can come and you can, you can explore the island on yourself, by yourself, or on your own, right? But then um, you may be missing out some spots and stuff like that. So it's good to take a local guide and take you around and you'll see exactly what's there to see. You get the full picture, right? So then we have um, the city tour. The other one, it's the day tour to Little Corn. We leave in the morning, we give you the option to choose the hour for leaving because some people get up late, some people get up early and we respect that, right? You're on vacation, right? So you, we go, we leave in the morning and we go into Little Corn and we do a, like a downtown explore in Little, in Little Corn. Then after that we go to the other side and uh, the other side on side of um, Yamaya Hotel. That's the beach we, we uh, hang out um, at the bar named Fryfish Bar. The ones that are going to do snorkel, we go out, we do the snorkel for an hour, an hour and a half, just depends. We come back and we relax at the bar, then the tourists, they can, the clients or the guests can purchase whatever they want at the bar under their expense because everyone drinks and eats what they want. You said people get certified here for snorkeling? <laughs> yeah, you can get certified for your water. What is that process? Water. You, you. you just visit the dive shops and let them know what, what um, certification you had. And if you want to upgrade or you, if you're new, if you want to do open water, patty, just whatever, you share the information with them and they'll guide you on how to get it done. What's the process, how long it takes and stuff like that. All that information is it's available here and you can get it done. And I can guarantee you some of the best sites for diving here are scuba. It's on Corn Island, man. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place his information in the description of this video. Man, now I wish I did that tour. <laughs> now I wish I did that tour. 
Who knows, guys? I might be able to do the tour, squeeze it in. Maybe. How, how long is the tour? Which one you said? The the first tour you mentioned, where we go around the town here and you. Uh... It takes approximately an hour to an hour and a half, depends on how long you guys take when we make the different stops, right? right. Some people like to take photos. Some people just want to drive around. Some people want to interact with people. Some people just want to chill. Some people want. I want one hour. So it, to answer your question, it takes like an hour to an hour and a half to like do the city to tour. Two hours. Yes. Okay. All right, okay. Well, guys, if I have time coming back um, here on a Thursday, um, maybe I can squeeze in one or something like this. I'll, I'll schedule it with you. But for sure, I'm going to put it in the description. Uh, thanks for watching. More on the way. I think I might be going to a little corn. <laughs> and uh, I got a surprise for you where I'm staying. You don't want to miss it, all right? So subscribe, and i see you in the next video. But check him out, all right? Check him out in the description. If you come in here, he can give you the layout of the land and tell you where everything's at. Exactly. Hit him up. He can give you an idea of what to expect when you get here. Exactly. Before you Provide even get here. information so you can know what you're expecting upon your arrival. All right, all right. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first video, try to watch all the other episodes and catch up so you don't miss what's happening next. I guarantee you, it's going to be crazy. Yo.